I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Put on your tinfoil hat, friends. And that's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on all major platforms. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us putting the gospel in the ears of youth. And don't you think they need the gospel in these dark times? They do. So whenever we talk about this subject, I always feel like I need to put my tinfoil hat on. And it's because I sound like they're coming to take me away. They're coming to take you away. Ha ha, he he, ho ho. Let's take a look at the text. Um, I like to review either on Monday or, or Friday last week's Bible study. And so this was from last week's Bible study in John's gospel. This is John 15, 8, 18 and following. If the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were out of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, because I chose you out of the world, because of this, the world hates you. It's getting pretty surreal, don't you think? Even he thinks so. Feels like the world's gone mad. Elections that don't solve themselves cleanly. People are angry. They're upset. And they might be upset with you. And you feel like that if you were to confess your faith, they'd string you up. And you're not wrong. And even though you feel like this makes you ha want to wear a tinfoil hat because the world's gone mad, and you're the only one that is sane, Jesus says, the world hates you because they hate him. You see, the world is okay with any religion, any belief system, any morality system, except yours, except the faith of Jesus. The world wants to be understanding and open-minded, except about your faith, except about what you believe. The world wants to praise those whose works appear good. But Jesus and what he did for you, mm -mm. no good ever. It's not that you're persecuted openly. It's not that they've drug you out into the streets. They might sometime soon. It's not that they're going to shut down your religion today. But you get the general feeling that it's definitely deemed non-essential. And if I sound like I'm wearing an aluminum hat, it's because... This has happened before, and it'll happen again. Sure, the streets will not be, um, the, road, the roadways won't have crucified Christians, and the lion's den, uh, throwing Christians into, uh, into a casino, um, to a coliseum full of lions isn't going to happen. But hate you, despise you, egg your house, maybe shoot you, it's happened before. And the comfort is Christ. When the world talks about love and it doesn't talk about you, when the world talks about love and hates you, when the world is okay with everything but your faith, understand that the world was okay with everything but Jesus. In fact, in John's gospel, Jesus is crucified to protect God. God can't be like this, not like this. And Jesus is later on in this chapter that if the world hates him, they hate his father who sent him. And so I want you to sort of understand this, that the idea that we all have the same God isn't true. It isn't. Your answer to somebody who says, we're all on the same team, we all have the same God, is you believe in Jesus? If they say yes, then we do have the same God. But if they say no, I'm talking about God, not Jesus. 
Do you understand the fundamental problem with that? They think you wear an aluminum hat because you believe God created the heavens and the earth. They think you wear an aluminum hat because you believe that marriage reflects Christ and his bride, the church. They think that you wear an aluminum hat because your view of love does not include hating others for any reason, even if it's justifiable, even if they should be hated, says the world. Will it get you crucified? I don't know. But it got him crucified. Think about it. Think about it. And pray about it. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.